Hello everyone, my name is Anuradha. In this video, I will give a brief introduction to nonlinear optimization with equality and inequality constraints using MATLAB. Nonlinear programming techniques solve optimization problems that involve nonlinear objective functions and or nonlinear constraints. The equality and inequality constraints cases are discussed separately since the underlying theory of the algorithm implementation would be slightly different in the two cases. In this blog, we are dealing with solving the minimization problem by the Lagrange multiplier method with the KKT conditions using sequential quadratic programming approach. The NLP solver in MATLAB uses the formulation as shown here. f of x is the objective function to be minimized with the design variables x1 and x2. LB and UB are the lower bound and upper bound respectively. AEQ and BEQ are the matrices specifying the equality constraints and A and B are the matrices for the inequality constraints. In MATLAB, the nonlinear constraints are coded in a separate function with C of x as a vector valued function with all the nonlinear inequality constraints and CEQ of x as a vector valued function with all the nonlinear equality constraints satisfying the conditions as shown here. NLP problems are iterative, which means that it starts with an initial guess as a starting point, x0, for what the optimum might be. The solver iteratively goes through from the starting point, following the gradient of the objective function and the constraints to reach the point where the gradient is equal to zero. Let us now try to understand the theoretical background for the SQP problem. Constrained optimization problems can be reformulated as unconstrained optimization problems and represented with the karush kuhn tucker conditions. The first order necessary condition that needs to be satisfied by the local minimum is del of f of x star equal to zero. And the second order necessary condition, which is del squared of f of x star is positive semi-definite. However, to guarantee that the optimum point obtained is the local minimum, it has to satisfy the additional second order sufficient condition, which is del squared of f of x star is positive definite. This implies that the Hessian matrix is positive definite. This is the geometric interpretation of the first order optimality conditions. We need to know about Newton's method, which forms the basis of the SQP algorithm implemented to solve this constrained optimization problem. In this method, the objective function is approximated by a quadratic function at each iteration and this approximation is then minimized and a descent direction is computed. The quadratic approximation of the function is given by the formula here in equation 1. By the first order necessary condition, equation 2 is obtained, which on solving gives the next value of the design variables in the iteration as xk plus 1 by applying step pk on xk as given by equation 4. pk is the step in the descent direction as computed from the second term in equation 4. The inverse of del squared of f of xk is the inverse of the Hessian. Here is a visualization of the gradient of the objective function and the gradient of the constraint with the feasible region. Before moving ahead, I want to show you something. For the last 28 days, roughly 6.5% of the viewers have subscribed to our channel based on our YouTube statistics. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, we request you to subscribe now. Let us jump back to our video. Now let us take the case of equality constraint optimization for a problem given by the equation as shown here. This problem can be converted from a constrained problem to an unconstrained problem using the Lagrange function given by this equation. 
The constants mu of j are the kkt or Lagrange multipliers. Suppose that the minimum for the unconstrained problem L of x mu j is x star and x star satisfies the constraint equation. For all values of x which satisfies the constraint equation, the minimum of L of x comma nu j is the minimum of f of x subject to the constraint equation. When there are no inequality constraints, the KKT conditions turn into the Lagrange conditions and the specified parameters are the Lagrange multipliers. In the case of having only equality constraints, there are no sign restrictions on the values of mu of j and the constraint equation is the KKT condition for primal feasibility. Then the equations given here are solved to obtain the optimum solution for x1 and x2. Here is the visualization for KKT conditions for some example constraints. The contour lines represent the objective function and the function gi of x is the constraint. These are the conditions for local and global maxima and minima as shown in this figure. Sequential quadratic programming is one of the algorithms used to solve nonlinear constraint optimization problems by converting the problem into a sequence of quadratic program subproblems. To get a linear system of equations on applying the KKT conditions, it is necessary to have a quadratic objective function and linear constraint functions. This is what you call a quadratic programming problem. For a problem with equality constraints, the KKT conditions require that L of x star mu j star is equal to zero at the optimal solution. The descent direction steps P of k and Q of k are obtained from the equation by Newton's method as given here. And using the solution for P of k and Q of k, the next iteration step of x of k plus 1 and mu of k plus 1 are obtained as shown here. The first order optimality condition that needs to be satisfied is represented by the equation 1 for the following optimization problem. At each iteration, a quadratic program subproblem needs to be solved to find the steps p of k and q of k which will be necessary to update x of k and mu of k. The visualization of the gradient of objective function being anti-parallel to gradient of the constraint function is as shown here. Let us now look at the inequality constraint case with an example that builds on whatever we have seen. The KKT conditions would be modified to include the inequality constraints for the minimization problem presented here. This would require introducing the KKT complementary slackness condition and dual feasibility conditions as shown here. The inequality constraints can be converted into equality constraints with the slack variables S1 and S2 and the Lagrangian takes this form with KKT multipliers lambda i. Then the partial derivatives of the Lagrangian with respect to each of these variables is taken and set to be zero, as shown by this set of equations. The last two equations are complementary slackness conditions. These indicate that either the lambda is zero or S is zero. If S1 is zero, then constraint one is active. If lambda one is zero, then constraint one is inactive. This gives four possibilities and it is necessary to test each of the possibilities. Here is an example of what the active and inactive constraints look like. On the left, we have the active constraint and on the right, we have the inactive constraint. Case 1 is where lambda 1 and lambda 2 are equal to 0, in which case equation 2 is violated. Case 2 is where S1 and S2 are equal to 0, in which case it gives negative Lagrange multipliers which violates the dual feasibility conditions. Case 3 is where lambda 1 and S2 are equal to 0, also giving negative Lagrange multipliers. 
case 4 is where lambda 2 and s1 are equal to 0, in which case a valid solution is obtained where x1 is equal to 1 and x2 equals 2, lambda 1 is equal to 1 and s2 squared is equal to 2. This indicates that constraint 1 is active and constraint 2 is inactive, giving the optimal solution. Let us now take a brief look at the code for implementing these problems in MATLAB. In MATLAB, the objective function is coded into a separate file where it takes input as a vector x containing x1 and x2 and the output would be the value of the objective function. Vectors are created defining the lower and upper bounds and the constraints are specified and as empty if there are none. There must be a separate file to specify the nonlinear constraints which is a function of x containing the input variables. These are the main scripts for the problem. Both scripts use MATLAB's fmincon to evaluate the minimum of the objective function under the specified constraints and bounds using the scripts for the objective function objfun and constraints confun. The algorithm parameters are set to sqp in both scripts. The results of running the code are displayed in the command line and graphically as shown here. The results include details such as optimal points x1, x2 and the objective function value at the minimum point. It also includes a display of the iteration details with the number of function evaluations. These are the graphs generated for the equality constraints, unconstrained objective function, contour plot of the objective function with the equality constraints, and the graphical solution. These are the graphs generated for the inequality constraints, unconstrained objective function, feasible region, contour plot of the objective function with the inequality constraints, and the graphical solution to the optimization problem. If you want access to the MATLAB codes developed by me, visit the blog with the link in the description and purchase the blog resources. Thank you for watching this video. Do like this video if you found this helpful. If you have any queries, please post them in the comments and get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future. MATLAB is our future. Happy MATLABing!